Hey guys. Surprise. Nice clubhouse. So good to see you back in this franchise um, after so long. Because Han had been resurrected before, did you always hold in your mind that maybe you might be coming back? No, you know when I when I when when I left, I, I you know I felt like the, the, it, it was a it was a beautiful closure to the character, and it was you know a wonderful journey and ride, and I had a great time, and I felt like it was a respectful exit for the character, you know. And mm. It was so beloved. I was like, thank you, you know, and it was what a wonderful experience, and. Um, and, you know, so, yeah, I had no, no expectation, you know, no expectation. And how did you feel when, I'm guessing it was Justin Lin who came to you to say that Han's coming back. How did, how did you feel? Were you a bit apprehensive because obviously he had such a beautiful send off in Fast and Furious 6? Well, I think if it wasn't Justin, I would be very concerned and apprehensive, you know, um, but you know, Justin and I, we, we developed the character together, you know, I mean, we, 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 he understands that character as well as, as much as I do. And, you know, it's very, you know, that, that character is very dear to him. It's very important because it symbolizes something very important to him, not just within the story, but in his personal life, you know. Um, and so under, you know, his, his, you know, you know, his, I guess, you know, nurturing, I knew that, you know, Hans, at least, you know, backstory would be respected, you know? Mm. Uh, so, yeah, I felt pretty, pretty confident it would be okay. And when you came on board, was the story behind how Han wasn't dead already in place? Or was that something that came after they knew that you were agreeing to come back? No, you know, Justin keeps everything really close to his chest with the writers, you know? It's like, you know, his process is very long and he likes to, you know, dissect things and, you know, he doesn't like to share too much with the actor and i think that's smart you know it's like you know, don't don't let me you know know what, what you know exactly what's in your head you know also let me kind of you know take it over once you, you know, present it to me it's up with the series since um fast and furious 6 because obviously it must have been quite nice to see how the fans were outraged by deckard shaw being part of the family in fast and furious 8 had you kept up with all of that well you know social media you know every day if you're on social media, you, you know, I would eventually start seeing stuff, you know, like the hashtag justice for Han and stuff. But I, I didn't take it too seriously. I was like, that's great. But, you know, you got to kind of move on as an actor and go, yeah, that was nice. And I appreciate that from the fan. But it started growing, you know, it started growing. And I, f I felt, you know, once I actually looked behind the reasons of like, why is this campaign like growing? And, you know, it was pretty cool. You know, it was like there, 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 there was this feeling of, you know, injustice, I guess, you know, there's this unease, like when you lose a family member and their, their memory is discarded. And it was very humbling to be a part of a character like that, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, and yeah. when Han is reunited with Dom, I got emotional when I was seeing it on screen. It was just mm -hmm. great to see. Um, how was your first day back on set? What was the first scene you filmed and how was your reaction to it? That was the first scene, the okay. scene where I, you know, I meet the I, I meet the team, and then yeah. you know, Dom gives me a big hug. Um, you know, it, look, you know, I'm, most as, actors are insecure. That's why we, we become actors, and you know, you always worry. You know, the day before you go to school for the first day, if you're gonna eat lunch by yourself, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna have any friends, and. You know, are my old friends going to invite me to the lunch table and hang out with me or do they move on? You know, so you have all of those insecurities, but you show up to set and that hug kind of represents really, you know, the, the feeling of the day. It was just hugs and, you know, in between takes, it was just catching up and laughter and, you know, jokes again. And it was just kind of getting back into that old cadence. So it was like seeing old friends and we're back at the yeah. playground, you know, playing cops and robbers again. Yeah, nice. Um, the, as you say, Fast and Furious fans are super dedicated and there were already leaks about you being on set and all that kind of stuff and whether Han was coming back. Um, how did you, did you go to any measures of secrecy when you were trying to keep it secret before obviously that first trailer came out? Oh yeah, you know, you know, 
just then at Universal, you know, everybody was really on top of, you know, hiding me on set, right? Um, you know, there's a lot of cast photos early on. If you look at the Fast 9 photos from set, you know, there's all these birthday parties and stuff. I'm never invited. Like, I was never <laughs> invited to that, right? <laughs> so, you know, I would, I, would, I would see the birthday cakes, you know, from afar, right? But, um, you know, it's part of the fun, you know? So yeah. it's really cool to be part of that kind of narrative, you know? It's, yeah. Different did it feel? Did it feel different being back on Fast 9, like five, six years after you'd last filmed on a Fast and Furious set? Or did it just literally feel like slipping into old slippers and comfortable and all that? Well, I mean, the budgets get bigger and bigger, so, yeah. you know, the food, you know, there's more food and more donuts, right? But uh, most, you know, there's a lot of familiar faces, you know, and not just the cast, but a lot of the crew, you know, we grew up together. So it literally is like going to a family reunion, you know, a gigantic family reunion. And, um, you know, and, you know, and everybody is there because they want to be, you know, and, you know, if, if you work together since Fast, you know, Tokyo Drift, you know, there's just this... You know, wonderful ease so it was easy to slip into it you know and going back to the UK one of the best places to shoot ever you know so it's just it, yeah it's really wonderful so many other films has obviously suffered a fair amount of lengthy delays as a result of everything that's going on in the world um, how difficult was it to keep secret exactly how Han returns did you tell anyone did you let it slip to family members or anything like that yeah, you know, I always have those, the, the, the sly little cousin that comes over for dinner and he's, you know, he's like, hey, so Han's back. Yeah, yeah, he's back. He's like, so how? And I'm like, come on, man. Just because you're my you know, relative, I'm going to tell you the story. So, I, I, you know, I, I kept it very close to my chest. I haven't told anybody. I actually haven't even told my wife. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's not seen the film yet. Yeah, she has not. <laughs> and when you started back on this franchise, even before Tokyo Drift, technically, in Better Luck Tomorrow, um, you, there's no way you could have imagined it would become the huge uh, franchise it is. How does that feel when you look back at Tokyo Drift and Han's origins? Like, it must feel a bit like a different character in a different series altogether. Yeah, I mean, first of all, just to be a part of a character that's been around so long and beloved, right? Um, in, mm -hmm. It's a like Hollywood fairy tale. You know, this is the stuff that you know brings us to town, to bring bring us to you know to the Hollywood dream, right? So to be able to be a part of something like this, you know, looking from the outside from three feet away, I just go, I have to pinch myself every day that you know, I, I, I I get to be a part of something like this, you know, um, and then also being able to grow with the character over the years, you know, <laughs> because you know just because you're an actor, life doesn't discriminate. You know, you know, giving you obstacles in your life, and you know, as I've gotten older, I've been able to use my life experience, you know, and put it into you know the character of Han. So, you know, what else can you say? It's just a gift, you know. Like the movie gods are up there going, "Here, here's another present for you, son." You know, so I just feel blessed and I feel honored, and you know, I just feel like you know, I just have to work harder and be a better person every day. You know, so yeah. yeah.